Hey, it's Peter. Today I'm gonna be uh, showing you a little bit of body work. There was some uh, cracking, so there was a bone though that either dried out or uh, something happened to it. So we're gonna have to scrape it or grind it all off and then uh, reapply it or smooth it out, see how it goes. First, it's good to mark the area that's affected. You go a little bit farther off where you can see because usually there is more to it. So we probably want to grind this paint and bondo off in this area. So I'm going to get a real grinder this weekend, but I feel I felt really pumped about starting the project. So I'm going to try with this uh, drill and the pot. Gonna wash it with alcohol and spray some uh, primer on it, sealer, and then I'll get a real grinder, grind it one more time, and then we can put some bond on it. I just don't have any bond today, so I just want to seal it for for now. It doesn't rust. Okay, once you grind everything, you can kind of feel it, and you you'll feel it where it's flat and when there's bumps and always feel it with your whole palm this way you'll really feel the bumps even the tiniest little bumps and this one has the only really affected area right over here so it's not a really big one it's pretty flat so we're just gonna apply some bondo here and then shave it off but for now I'm just gonna seal it so it doesn't rust Now actually I can see with the glossy paint a little bit more here, a couple more affected areas, but that should be covered. First, see if we can beat it up a little bit one of the spots with the hammer and this. I usually use a metal piece, but I don't have it so I use a stone. So when you hit it from the bottom, it kind of doesn't let the hammer push the metal too far. Okay, that's pretty much it on this. Now we're gonna grind the paint off again, and then put some bondo. Okay, I got a new grinder, a pretty rough paper, because you wanna have a nice and rough metal so the bondo sticks good. Okay, so with bondo I found that the easiest way to mix it is to uh, make a kind of pancake shape and then with the hardener you do a, just a line. But it kind of varies on temperature outside because Bondo will dry no matter what. Even if I didn't put a hardener after maybe a year, this will be dry. It's not like epoxy, so it will dry. This, this just speeds up the process. So if you put too much, it will harden really fast and too little, it will just take longer. And the harder it is, the faster it works too. Okay, once the color is good, we're ready to spread. And you want to spread kind of nice and thin and even. Okay, now let it dry. So I like to uh, work with files and some sandpaper. But the bigger spot you gotta fix, the bigger sandpaper area will need. 
And sometimes you can get like a two by four and stick these sandpapers together so you can evenly shave it down. Sometimes I'll use some power tools, but with power tools, watch out, they may dig in too, too deep. And basically you'll take this almost all the way down to the bare metal. Actually, some of the areas will be bare metal and the areas that are lower than those areas, you know, those are the filled areas and that should be fine. You may actually do couple layers of uh, Bonda. So it depends on uh, how it goes. Oh, and last thing, I always try to work like in a crosshatch, a little bit of this, 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 so you're never like digging in uh, patterns into it. So this looks pretty flat, but there is a nice test you can do with a pencil. So you put little swirls, whatever you had the bone though. And then you go over this with sandpaper, see if you have any high or low spots. Okay, that looks pretty smooth. We just found a little bump over here. So I'm gonna have to grind it out and put some a little bit of bondo on this. Okay, made a couple touch-ups with the bondo for final sending. There's a neat trick for the bondo so it doesn't crack in the future. You can uh, paint it first before you prime it with like a silver paint. The silver paint will protect it from uh, UV rays because that's really what usually kills the bondo. It's you know excessive sun. Okay, so we sprayed the silver over the bondo and waited 24 hours to dry up because if sometimes different paints will have different chemicals in them and if you spray another color over the first one you may actually start kind of cracking so then we scuffed it and uh, we sprayed the primer and then to smooth out everything what I use usually for small areas or uh, areas that can have overspray I'll use pencil and I'll just do lots of swirls and then you color sand with water and uh, you know like 200 or 400 and it literally takes out the swirls except in the areas where there are like dips or scratches or something like that or if there are, you, you don't care about overspray you take a some different color of spray can, usually darker or brighter, and then uh, you just mist it over. And then when you color sand, you basically take out that mist over from from the area. Just a little mist. And this way you'll see what are the highlights and lows also. And you sand it basically till they disappear. So after a while, you can see where the highs and lows, because the highs, well, the red paint or whatever your marker was disappears, but the lows will have st still on there. And you just keep going and sending it till uh, either it's gone and it's all solid color, or you got through the primer, which, which in which point you add a little bit more if it's just a thin. Or if it's a big hole, you gotta actually put some more bondo on it. And you can put bondo straight on the paint. I mean, you gotta scuff it a little bit and then put it on. But you should have a smaller section than before. And you keep going until it's all done. And then uh, put a sealer primer on top of that. Everything's sanded down. There's no more red in the area where we fixed it. So that means everything's smooth. You may see different colors once in a while, but that's fine as long as there's no red. It means all it's smooth. And now you can uh, paint it.